Can you log into Facebook without a password? Let's find out the answer to that in this video. Right, let me answer the question right away before I start this video. As you can see, I'm on facebook.com and I haven't entered anything in the username password section. Now, let me refresh the page and bam, I'm logged in. So yeah, it is actually possible to log into Facebook without entering password or without even entering a username. But how is it possible? In order to know about it, we should learn about cookies. Now, these are not the cookies that you're thinking about, but these cookies are some random alphanumeric strings which are saved by your browser and in your browser. So these cookies are assigned to you by the websites you visit. And these cookies are actually uh, the identification of you on a particular website. Let us say, suppose you're logged in to Facebook on Google Chrome and uh, without logging out, for example, if you close the browser window, if you close Google Chrome without logging out Facebook, the next time you open your browser and you type in facebook.com in the address bar and hit, hit, hit enter or search, it's going to automatically log you into Facebook. I, I'm sure you noticed that without even entering your username and password, you get automatically logged in simply because you haven't logged out earlier. So this is actually a feature of Facebook to make the site more user friendly and to reduce the burden for users to re-enter the username and password every time a browser window is closed and reopened. Now whenever you log into Facebook, a cookie is generated by Facebook web server and it is sent to your browser and this uh, cookie is actually saved by your browser. Now whenever the browser makes a request to facebook.com it's going to include this cookie in the HTTP request. And by sending this cookie as a part of the HTTP request, Facebook is going to identify you or it's going to understand that this request is coming from you. For example, it's coming from Teja. And thus it logs you in automatically without even asking you the username and password. So now you understand why and how your browser is automatically logging you in if in case you forgot to log out earlier. And this, this can be the same with Facebook, with Gmail or with any other website which uses cookies. So a simple question, what if these cookies are stolen? I mean, what can happen if these cookies are stolen? Now trust me, if these cookies are stolen, worse things can happen. For example, anyone can get access to your Facebook account if they have your cookies. And trust me, seriously, it is not at all a tough job to steal cookies from a person with no proper technical knowledge. Like, it's very easy to steal cookies. And if you want to see your own cookies, you can open Google Chrome and log into your Facebook account and then right click and select inspect element and then go to console and type in in the console document.cookie and hit enter and there you will see your Facebook cookies. Now, if anyone has these cookies, they can directly get access to your Facebook account without even entering the username or password. So using these cookies, anyone can sign into your Facebook account unless you log out and that cookie expires. And of course that cookie is going to expire as soon as you log out because uh, that's some security measure taken by Facebook. For example, let's say you're logged in and Facebook generates a cookie and it's, it generates a random and unique cookie and it sends to your browser. And as, as long as you're using your Facebook account without logging out, that cookie is going to be valid. And as soon as you log out from your Facebook account, this cookie is going to be expired and this cookie is not valid anymore, which means uh, even though if any Anyone has access to it they can't log in because it, it, it has expired since you have logged out to your Facebook account and in the future once again when you're logging in again to Facebook it generates another cookie and it sends you your browser and that's how it works so if someone sends you some JavaScript code and if they ask you to to execute it on your browser's console and if you do it blindly without even knowing what the JavaScript does then chances are believe me your account is compromised if you do it because who knows that code might be a malicious code and it might be sending your Facebook cookies to the person's uh, web server or to the person's database and you you exactly know what can happen if someone has access to your cookies they can simply simply impersonate you on Facebook which means they can log into your Facebook account and they can do stuff without even knowing your username 
or password. So the next time someone is asking you to execute some code on your browser's console, think twice and make sure you exactly know what that JavaScript is doing. Do not execute any code blindly on your browser's console. I'm not talking only about Facebook. This might be Facebook, this might be Gmail or it might be any other website using cookies. All are the same, you know, you just have to be careful while doing something or while executing something in your browser's console window. Now, just to make it very clear about how easy it can be to steal others' cookies, let us think about what we can do with a USB rubber ducky. And if you don't know what's meant by USB rubber ducky, just give it a Google search and you will find out what it is. So if I have a USB rubber ducky, I can simply write a script which will automatically open facebook.com on the victim's browser and then it opens the console window and it then executes some malicious code which will send uh, the users or the victims cookies to my database and as soon as i and as soon as i plug in this usb rubber ducky into the victims computer everything is going to be automatically done like less than five seconds or so as soon as i plug it in it's going to open facebook it's going to open the browser's console and it's going to execute this malicious code and after five seconds, I can simply log into my PHP my admin and I can see these cookies which are stolen uh, with the help of my USB rubber ducky. And once I have the cookies of the victim, I can simply inject these cookies into my HTTP request for Facebook. And I can do this simply by using plugins for Google Chrome like edit this cookie. So using this plugin, I can actually inject a cookie into the HTTP request. So whenever I'm making a request to facebook.com, I will make sure that I will include these cookies in the HTTP request. And you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get access to the victim's account. So the main intention of this video is to let you know how critical cookies can be and why you should always take care of them, why you should always keep them secure and why you should never ever execute any code blindly on your browser's console window. That can do a lot of things. It can steal your cookies or it can do a lot of other worse things as well. So just make sure while you're doing something on your browser's console window, make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Don't do anything blindly. And if you do so, your account can be compromised. And I've seen some Facebook hacking tools which claim to hack Facebook accounts for you. And uh, these websites, they ask you to literally they ask you to literally copy the code given by them and paste them in your browser's console window and you know what's going to happen if you do so your account is going to be compromised so you you want your friend's account to be hacked so you visit that website but instead what you're getting is your account being compromised and your friend's account is safe I mean no one can hack a Facebook account with one click come on so that's an irony so Guys, be careful with this and uh, and also make sure that you log out of your Facebook account uh, as soon as you're done using it because if you if you did not log out your Facebook account, the cookie is still going to be valid and anyone can still use that cookie generated to get access to your account. So that is it for this video. Hope you like this video and hope you learned something new. So thanks for watching and you have one responsibility to do. Just share this video with your friends or with your family and let them know how critical or how important it is for them to uh, keep their cookies secure and what can happen if their cookies are exposed. So just share this video. I'm sure that if they watch this video, they'll understand. So just share this video with your friends or family and let them know about the importance of cookies. And thanks for watching once again. Subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. And I'll be meeting you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching once again. Cheers.